My amp unit. I know this vid is probably gonna reach you guys late Saturday night, so be it. I got a busy Sunday. Don't think I can pump anything out then. So this is where you're getting this impromptu vid because I had to talk about this. I had to ask permission, almighty Rollins. Can we complain now? Now that word has gotten out that Rollins versus Ziggler is set for one of the big matches on Monday Night Raw, this is the change that was coming. This is what we were promised in that conference call by Vince McMahon. This is what happens when you bring over Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff and you promise the fans you're going to start seeing edgier television. You're going to start seeing organic, fresh shit happening, fresh matchups, new superstars coming out of the woodwork. And you're giving us Rollins and Ziggler. But yet we're not supposed to complain. AJ Styles says we're not allowed to pick and choose what to like. Rollins says they're going out there every single night and putting it all on the line. Going a thousand percent to entertain us in those two minute matches. In those redundant rematches that we've seen time after time after time. So I beg the question... How is that entertaining? It's rhetorical. It's not, Seth. And that's why we complain, bitch, moan, are negative. We critique too much. Now you see why, Seth. Seth, if you're okay wrestling Dolph Ziggler 1,417 times in the last six months, that's cool, man. You do you. But real fans don't want to fuck with that. Now, obviously, I'm exaggerating that number for comedic response, but I will be real with you and drop some facts. Seth, you probably don't even realize this. You probably don't even realize how many times on TV or pay-per-views you've wrestled Dolph Ziggler in the last six months to a fucking year. You probably don't even realize, but luckily for you, the Amplified Man always comes prepared with facts. So, Seth, let me just run down... Some matches dating all the way back to June 18th of 2018. This is how many times, right? Roughly a year. We're in July 2019. This dates back to June of 2018. This is how many times just on TV slash pay-per-view you have wrestled Dolph Ziggler in some form or capacity. Are you ready, Seth? I'm about to take you on a fucking whirlwind. Back to the future, so to speak. We go to Raw November 26th, 2018. Rollins defeated Ziggler in a singles match. Three weeks earlier, Crown Jewel November 2nd, Ziggler defeated Rollins in a singles match. 11 days earlier, Raw, October 22nd, Seth beats Dolph in a tag match. One week earlier, Raw, October 15th, Seth beats Dolph in a six-man tag match. One week earlier, Raw, October 8th, Ziggler beats Rollins in a six-man tag match. Two nights earlier, Super Showdown, October 6th, Rollins beats Dolph in a six-man tag match. 19 days earlier, Raw, September 17th, Rollins beats Ziggler, singles match. One night earlier, Hell in a Cell, September 16th, Ziggler beats Rollins in a tag match. One month earlier, SummerSlam, August 19th, Rollins beats Ziggler in a singles match. 13 days earlier, Raw, August 6th, Ziggler beats Rollins in a handicap match. Two weeks earlier, Raw, July 23rd, Rollins beats Ziggler in a tag match. One week earlier, Extreme Rules, July 15th, Ziggler beats Rollins in a singles match. Two weeks earlier, Raw, July 2nd, Rollins beats Ziggler in a tag match. One week earlier, Raw, June 25th, Rollins beats Ziggler in a singles match. One week earlier, Raw, June 18th, Ziggler beats Rollins in a singles match. Bruh, this is just dating back to June of last year. That's how many times we have seen you two in the ring, on TV and on pay-per-views, in every type of match you could imagine. From Extreme Rules to Hell in a Cell to SummerSlam, we have seen you in 10 Raws in 5 pay-per-views. One year. This is just one year. We can go back to 2015 and count more matches with you, can't we? But I'm just going back one year. 
10 Raws, 5 pay-per-views, 7 singles matches, 4 tag team matches, 3 six-man tag matches, and a handicap match. And this, this is what we're supposed to anticipate. This is what we're supposed to be intrigued about. This is what we're supposed to look forward to as one of the big marquee matches this Monday during a three-hour Raw on a show that has been stale and redundant for years. And we're being promised by everybody that we're going to get change, that we're going to get fresh matches and new up-and-coming superstars to battle the superstars that are on that roster today. We are going to be excited and intrigued once again. It's been a long time, but that's what we're promised. And you, you and Styles and Corbin, Xavier and, and the bunch, you're all telling us we should not be complaining about what we're witnessing. We should sit back and enjoy the fact that you're giving it all you have in the ring in your two minutes of TV time. Or your... 9 to 10 minute match, your 9 to 10 minute match with two commercials in between. They're going to reset the matches. Maybe it's two out of three Monday, Dolphin Ziggler. Bro, bro, is it okay to complain now? Do you see what I'm talking about now, bud? Do you see what I'm talking about, Seth? You probably didn't even realize you wrestled him that many times. And I'm sure, like Vince would like you all to believe, and the fans, we're supposed to just be sheep that forgot what happened last week. We're supposed to be sheep that forgot what happened last month and forgot what happened a year ago on June 18th in sense. We're supposed to forget or just brush it aside. It's all right. They're going out there and wrestling 110%. Let's just give them an applause anyway. That's not what this is about, bro. We're supposed to be getting larger-than-life superstars in stories that are epic and capture our attention in feuds that jump off the page. Dolph and Seth is announced over 48 hours away from Raw. This is what's supposed to capture our attention the whole weekend, and when men Monday comes, we're supposed to tell... We're, this is what we're talking about. What's going on on Raw tonight? Oh, fucking Rollins and Dolph. Rollins and Dolph for the 617 time in a year. Yeah, man, I can't, I don't know what they're going to do in the nine minutes they're given. BC, you really think they're going to give them nine minutes? Oh, you're right, man. What the fuck was I thinking, man? I don't know what they're going to do in the six minutes they're going to get. Or maybe it starts off in a singles match, but they need to reset it for a commercial. So maybe Drew comes down or maybe Roman comes out. Who knows? This will turn into a tag match. And then, four minutes later, they got to reset again, so two more wrestlers will come down, and this will be another six-man tag. Seth, when is it okay, man, to, to beg the question, doesn't this suck? Isn't this repetitive? Seth Rollins, I ask you these questions, bro. I've heard from the Amplified Unit, I've heard from people that aren't Amplified Unit members, have not subscribed to this channel, and they like to leave their two cents down below. I've heard from everyone else. Seth, is this not repetitive? Seth, are we all supposed to just sit there? The, the non-sheep, the non-sheep of WWE, the real hardcore fans that remember what happened last year, last month, last week, last night. Are we supposed to just sit on our fucking hands and watch in awe you two do the same fucking shit we've seen in the last year 15 times every which way you could possibly fucking wrestle a match? Six mans, tag team, singles, from Extreme Rules to Hell in a Cell to SummerSlam to Super Showdown, to Crown Jewel, we've seen it all. How is this your tune-up match to Brock Lesnar? And, and Ziggler, he's okay just being WWE's residential bitch? I guess we should be fucking happy that they're not feeding Drew McIntyre to you, Seth, or that they're not feeding Samoa Joe because Lord knows Drew McIntyre and Samoa Joe cannot afford another loss. Seth, if you're ever asking yourself, why are they complaining, man? We're giving it our all. Your exact words were you're giving it a thousand percent. Bro, if that's Vince McMahon giving us a thousand percent, another fucking Ziggler Rollins match, if that's you guys shitting on the fans for complaining instead of looking at your boss, Vince, and saying, Vince, we've already done this 15 times on TV in the last year. I think we should do something different. I think our hardcore fans are going to realize it's the same match the 16th time in a year. And maybe we should just switch this up, man. Give Dolph somebody else. Let me have another tune-up match. 
No, you refuse to look at Vince. And I'm not saying you got to shit on your company, right? BC, what do you expect him to say, man? He's a company guy. He's not going to shit on his boss or his company. Bro, I'm not asking you to. What I'm asking them to do in, in interviews is just don't shit on the fans. Don't even talk about the fans. If you're asked about the fans, change the subject. You just say a PC answer like, hey, they're, they're, they can do whatever they want. They can say what they want. They're the ones spending the money on the network and buying those tickets to the arenas, buying the pay-per-views, buying the merchandise. They can do and say what they want. We can just hope that we're going out there doing our best. But bro, if you're going to be a locker room leader, speak for everybody. Just because you're on top of the mountain or one of the guys on top of the mountain doesn't mean the Rusevs, the Sasha Bankses, the Luke Harpers, the Nevilles when he was there. Doesn't mean that they were happy or still are happy. They're not. So if you're going to be a locker room leader, be a locker room leader for everybody, not just the chosen ones that choose to speak out for the company and in behalf of the company because they're in top spots like the New Day. What about the ones that are not given a chance? If you're going to be a locker room leader, look at what the fans are saying and then turn to your boss, turn to Triple H and say, dude, we got a big problem. Our hardcore audience, the ones that are not sheep, the ones that remember what the fuck happened last month and last year and last week, they have a problem with the product and it's a pretty severe problem. And not only that, they have a gripe. They have a real issue that is warranted. They're right, Vince. They're right, Triple H. Check this out, and you can give them the details that the Amplify Man gave you. Do that, Seth. Instead of shitting on the fan base, you can take it to your bosses and say, Hey, I'm just going to ask a question. Can we do better? There's a concept. Seth, can we complain now after I just gave you the evidence of why nobody's looking forward to Dolph and Seth Rollins again? Except for the sheep that forgot that you guys even faced each other 15 times in the last year? Just televised. Forget about live events and house shows. Ho oh, ho ho. That's another fucking 76 times. Isn't it, Seth? 76. Isn't it, Seth? Come on, bro. You can't tell us not to critique and just sit back and enjoy it because you're giving a thousand percent when your company is not. If you are saying you, Seth, just give a thousand percent, that's one thing. You shit on the fans because you said every department is giving it a thousand percent and we should be more gratuitous to that. We should be more thankful. But you're bullshitting yourself because your boss isn't giving a thousand percent. Your creative writers are not giving a thousand percent. Your marketing team sure as hell isn't giving it a thousand percent. And if you're going to not stand up to your boss, if you're not going to put on your big boy fucking pants, suck it up buttercup and go to your boss and say, we can do better then bro. You're not giving a thousand percent. I don't give a fuck what you're doing in your two to six minute matches. This is unacceptable. This is your change for that company. This is the fresh organic matchups. Dolph and Seth again. Why? We're getting this match because Seth Rollins is avenging. Shawn Michaels and getting the super kick that he got the sweet chin music from Dolph Ziggler on Tuesday night. Seth Rollins is going to avenge Shawn Michaels. Wow! We got to tune in to the 16th match on TV in the last year. We got to tune into this shit. Fucking bonkers, bro. Bonkers. And you expect somebody like the Amplified Man to sit back and go, All right, this is our big main event match. Guess we should just enjoy it. They're giving it a thousand percent. Come on, bro. Seth, seriously, come on, bro. All due respect, nothing but love, bro, but come on, man. Can you do better? I'm just asking that question. Can you do better? It's rhetorical, Seth. You're damn right you can, and you know it. The Amplified, the Amplified Man, baby. Put it up. Ow. For now, check you later.